All right, so in this tutorial video, we want to look at the case where we can fit a discrete time markup chain given a sequence of states arising from the stationary process, okay? So first, let's try and um, clear all our working environments and graphics using this code of line. Once we are done, we have to load this report package, that's the markup chain package. In case you don't have this installed, you have to install it by clicking on packages, okay? Once you click on packages, you have to click on install and type in the name of chain to um, complete the installation. Make sure that you have access to the internet, okay? All right. So once you are done with installation, you have to load this package using the library function. So I'm going to highlight this and run. All right. So the next thing is to take an example. So I want to use this example. We have already seen this from our previous tutorial. In case you have skipped this video, you can check it out by clicking on the link in the card above or check the description below this video for the link, okay? All right, so suppose that this process is the weather condition by the 11th hour at the close of day N. The following data is a record of the weather condition for the past 21 days, where zero denotes raining and one denotes sunny. So on the first day by the 11th hour, the weather condition was observed to be raining. On the second day by the 11th hour, the weather condition was observed to be sunny. On the third day by the 11th hour, the weather condition was also observed to be sunny in that order. So we want to estimate the transition metrics for this process, okay? So we try solving this manually and we obtain the following results. So we try solving this and we um, actually obtain this result, okay? So now we want to learn how to use the software to get similar results, okay? How do we use the software R to get similar results? So that's basically what we want to learn in today's tutorial video. So let's jump into our studio. So the first thing that we are going to do is to get a sequence of the process, okay? So let me highlight this. Okay, and go back. We are trying to pick these values. We are picking these values 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, these are the values that we are trying to pick as a sequence of the process. So um, let's try and execute this. Control, enter, or you can click here to execute. Okay, all right. So once we are done, the next thing is to um, fit the Markov chain distribution. So we are going to use the Markov chain fit, which is coming from this package to get our result of interest. So let's execute this control enter. And the next thing that I wanna do is to get an estimate that is the transition probability matrix, okay? So let me execute this control enter. And here we go. So let's try and compare the results. So we can see from state zero to a set is six out of 11, which is similar to 0 0.545454k. Okay? And also 0 0.4545 is similar to five out of 11. Four out of nine is similar to 0 0.4444. And 0 0.5556 is similar to um, five out of nine, okay? So we have been able to basically get the same results compared to when we when we try solving this manually, okay? All right, so we can even visualize the transition probabilities. So let's try and plot this. So let me plot this, control enter. It's taking some time. So here we go, let me zoom this. So this is how the state transition diagram also looks like, okay? 
So um, basically, this is how to fit a discrete time uh, Markov chain, given a sequence of states arising from a stationary process. Please, if you find value in today's tutorial video, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And thank you for watching.